welcome welcome back to my channel today we're on my island daisy chain which is my cottage core island and we're gonna be doing some more building today i want to make a lot of progress today i would like to do a lot of stuff <laughs> I would like to get this island going and yeah, like I'm actually getting somewhere with it. That's what I want to feel like today, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Anyway, we're going to get started. I've already put down this little square here, this little tiny square. I've already put this here ready to place a house down. We're going to be placing here our cute little squirrel girly, Silvana, because she's so stinking cute and adorable. So I'm going to be putting her there today and we're just basically going to be building her house, building some more of the island. Like I said, I would like to get as much done today as possible just because i want to <laughs> i want to okay anyway let's go get a house right so we have sylvana's house let's go place it also by the way i did move in another villager and i need to show you who it is because she's so cute and so beautiful can you guess by the exterior of the house i mean she's not in her not being in doesn't help on us visiting her but yeah look we got a new villager. She's replaced the pink bear. I can't remember the pink bear's name. Not Tutu, not Megan, Ursula. That was her name, Ursula. She's replaced her. Let's see if we can find her. I'm gonna go find her. Okay, there is Kyle. That's not who we're looking for. We still need to get rid of Kyle. We still need to move him out. There's sweet Dottie. Just, what are you, Dottie? Dottie, are you okay? Oh, she's fine. Okay, she's figured it out. I was like, why is she walking into that bush? But it's okay, she's figured it out. All right, there is Bill. I can't find her. <laughs> I can't find her. Where is she? Is she in here? She looks crowdy. If she's shopping, then yeah. I don't blame her. She is shopping. Oh my gosh. She is in here. She was shopping. Bless her. She's so adorable. Look at her. Sweet fauna. Have we not run into each other again before now, dearie? Why is she so cute? Okay, so now we can actually go and place this house. I've already picked up Sylvana's house from resident services. So let's go and place her down. By the way, I am enjoying a lovely coffee right now, and it's beautiful. And I'm hoping it kicks me with some energy. Because <laughs> I feel like I need some energy right now. This afternoon, I'm feeling a little bit drained. A little bit tired. You know the feeling. Right, so we're going to pop her down here. We're going to pop her house right on this little square. She's got like a cute, small little area. And I feel like I can make this adorable. Let's imagine it first. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now that we got Sylvana here, we will be going forward a day soon so we can get her house moved in properly. Now, I do have this third level that I'm going to be working on as well. Let me just quickly show you. So if we go up here, you can see I've started doing this third level. I wasn't originally going to do a third level, but sometimes creation takes over you. And so that's what we have at the moment. We still got a lot of decorating to do around here, but I do need to have an incline or something. And I was like, do you know what? No. I'm not going to pay Tom Nook for an incline to get onto this level. No, I am not. No, no, no. So instead, we're going to make a cute little ladder that we can put up against this wall so that you have to go up the ladder instead. Anyway, I need to go get my storage shed at my DIY table so that we can make this ladder possible. Okay, so we're crafting our little ladder. I think, I don't know, am I going to keep it just a normal wood color or should I change it? I might change it. I might customize the color. Let me see what colors it comes in. Okay, so it comes in natural blue, red, yellow, green, and white. Okay, I think I'm going to go for, actually, no, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to leave it as the natural wood color because it's cute. It's a nice color. It will fit the rest of the island. So yeah, I'm going to keep it in its natural color. So we're just going to boing over to Sylvana's house. Well, the plot where she's going to be living. I need to still scan some more villagers in. I've still got like maybe six more to do. Six, seven, I don't know. Quite a few. I still need a few more to do. So I need to get on with scanning those in real soon. <laughs> But anyway, we're back here at the house. I think I'm going to put the ladder here, but I want to put some code on the floor first. So I think I'm going to go with... Hmm, I think we'll go with this. Actually, do you know what would be really, really cute? Do you know what would be cute? Would be kind of adorable if we did this instead. So if we place down a little log code instead. So like this one. Did it like this. And then maybe put the ladder in here. Is it cute? I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> it might be better once we've started decorating. I'm sure of it. Right. So now that we have the ladder and Sylvana's house in place. I think I'm just going to go to the next day. So then we have her house built. So we can actually decorate around it. And then we'll just go from there. Because we might do Fauna's house as well today. Depending on time. <laughs> depending on how long this one takes so we're back here on the next day now and we should have sylvana all nicely moved to her new location so let's head to there and see what we got i probably have to go to did i forget to time travel oh no <laughs> oh gosh okay so we've now actually managed to time travel properly <laughs> 
we've time traveled properly. So Sylvana's house should be where it's supposed to be, but oh, Daisy May is obviously in this area too. That could be interesting, especially when we come to deck, right? But yeah, we finally have Sylvana's house in place, which is nice, which is good. We love that. But let's start decorating. It's it's time to decorate. Let's give her a cute little yard. Yeah, Daisy May, you're gonna be in the way. We're gonna have issues. Maybe if you just go down here, please stay down here. Look, go this way. This way is nice. Just a little push, please. Please, you don't want to go back up here, please. Please, I love you. You're so cute and adorable. I don't like the snot coming from your nose. And I also don't like the fact that you really want to go where I'm building today. So please stay out the way. Right, let's just let's just get on with this and see how much we can get done before Daisy Bay actually becomes annoying. <laughs> Because I feel like that's what's gonna happen, which is such a shame because she's cute and I don't want to push her. But, you know, if she if she's gonna make me get to the point that I want to push her, I'm gonna push her. I'm not gonna hesitate. Let's see if we can make a cute path and go from there. Honestly, most of the time, I don't know what I'm doing, what I'm decorating. I just kind of make it up as I go along. And that's just, that's just how I work. Some people think that's absolutely crazy and need some sort of plan or need to have some sort of something or already planned out but nope not me I, I like to live like this I like to not know what I'm gonna build not know what's coming next I just guess basically <laughs> and I hope that it all connects together I mean it hasn't really done me wrong before like on any other island I've not had anything drastic happened I mean there has been times where I feel like I'm gonna run out of room on an island when I'm doing it Okay, I kind of forgot what I was saying because I was mid-sentence and Amazon knocked the door. <laughs> I think it was on about how I don't plan, okay? I think that's where I was at. If not, this is not going to make any sense, this video, but that's absolutely fine because you you're probably all used to that by now. But I, I don't plan and I just hope that things work out and I've had times when you know i feel like i'm running out of room on an island but it's okay i don't we just like jig it around a little bit manage to squeeze stuff in and it, it always seems to work out somehow and i don't know why <laughs> okay i just went to come over here to get my storage shed and stuff and i thought I'd just quickly interrupt what i was originally saying anyway and we got a campsite villager so i feel like we should be checking this out we're gonna check this out together because what if it's b what if it's b let's check it's not b it's ava ava's really really cute and i feel like she would fit in the island but i don't want her and as you can probably guess i really want b <laughs> i want b the dog i don't have her amiibo card i don't think okay couple of things couple of things i'm glad i checked this out i was wondering why my sound was a little bit off in like the little bars that you watch at the bottom so i apologize for the first couple of minutes of the video having really strange sound <laughs> I don't know why it did that. I literally did the magic trick where you unplug the microphone and just plug it back in and everything seemed fine. It worked perfect. So I recommend this trick to everyone. If you haven't tried the unplug and plug back in method, try it now. If something's not working and it's technical, do it do it. This is your sign to go do that. As I was saying before I checked the campsite villager was that most of the time the only sort of building that I kind of forget about and miss is the campsite. To be honest 80% of the time I forget about the campsite till at least the end of building my island. Like I forgot about it right now until just now. <laughs> so I think for Sylvana we're just gonna give her a cute little area that she can sit. I don't know what sort of hobby she would have. She kind of gives me baking vibes like she'd love to bake i think that's because she reminds me of a cinnamon roll maybe that's why so maybe we'll give her a cute little baking area actually just here i think i have a stone oven you know the one we got with the 2.0 update that really nice one i think i have one of those in my storage i will have to check so i'll probably use that and yeah, give her the cute little baking area of her dreams. She could have like a little table outside and we'll just make it look cute, basically. Cute for Sylvana. So I'm gonna pop down this grass card so it leads to her house. I could use the dirt card, I know, but I just don't want to. I feel like I like this green one. It looks so cute. Also, it kind of goes with her door a little bit. You know, the light green and the darker green go nice together. Wait, no, don't try and enter her house. She's not in. Imagine if we could enter her house. Oh, do you know what I've been tempted to do i've been so tempted to play one of the older animal crossing games on this channel i feel like that would be so fun i actually managed to dig out my wii u which yes i'm one of the people that has a wii u i've been so tempted to buy um into the city because i believe i can play 
that on the Wii U. And I might actually play it on the channel if I can get hold of a copy because I don't actually have it. I used to have it when I had a Wii, but then I got rid of a bunch of games. So I don't really have any games for it. Oh, and also I did find my GameCube. I found my GameCube. So I might, I might, I might, I might, I might try and get hold of the original Animal Crossing at a reasonable price. <laughs> I'm not about to sit here and pay hundreds and hundreds of pounds for Animal Crossing. So if I can find it at a reasonable price, I might try and play that as well. I just like put this in my head. I was just like, I need to put these on the floor. And I did it. Didn't even think about it. But obviously I was thinking about it in the back of my head. These are perfect. Perfect for Savannah. I don't even remember what I was going to say because these are so perfect. They distracted me. I'm going to put some little wooden fence along here. We want to bring in this whole cottage core vibe. You know, we want to bring in the cottage core vibe. I'm going to get rid of that. I think that's not needed. Nor is this piece. We're probably just going to put a bush here. So here's the situation. I moved the majority of my flowers from the beach to over here. And we seem to have a silly amount of cosmos. <laughs> I mean, it kind of works because they look like daisies and this is called daisy chain after all, but th this is this is a ridiculous amount, okay? <laughs> this is too much. And back I am. I've picked up a lot of good stuff. So we got some flowers. Right, that will be good for now. I now want to actually start. Oh my gosh, Daisy May, you came back. Please, you were down there for so long. Right, we need to put another little log code down on the floor here just so it kind of leads to the path because I want to. It's kind of cute, kind of cute. Oh, very adorable. Okay, I'm going to stick another tree here i'm definitely gonna put in a cedar and i think i'm gonna chop it down because you know what i want yes you do if you don't know you haven't watched the rest of my videos <laughs> and if you haven't watched the rest of my videos why not go watch them go go watch the rest of the daisy chain playlist go on at least that one anyway we're gonna chop this tree down so we have a lovely little tree stump here perfect i know we do this with the hardwood trees so it's nice to see one that's a cedar tree rather than a hardwood tree i'm gonna pop in a little bush here because we have one more in my bag and then continue to decorate lovely lovely we're gonna probably stick an item here i'm honest just to kind of break it up a little bit but this is coming along cute also also i did take the time to go to a treasure island and get leaf pals so go me <laughs> Go me, I did it. So I want to pop a little mush lamp here, but I do need to pop a code under it first. We're going to go with this little flower crown because it's so cute. By the way, I always forget to mention this sometimes, but if you see any codes that you like in my videos, I do have them listed in the description down below, except some of the earlier videos that I made. So like maybe the first couple of islands that I did. I don't think I put the codes in the description, but these newer islands that I've done for the past maybe year and a half definitely have the codes down there. So yeah, make sure you're checking those out if you see any you like. So here we're going to make a little stone cooking area stone cooking area sometimes i confuse myself even even myself yeah that's what i meant the stone work kitchen thing this looks cute here it looks very nice and i also gathered one of these ranch cupboards it's kind of cute i like it for now it will stay and i can't resist and i feel like anyone who's doing cottage core can't resist a barrel the barrel is superior and then in front of the barrel, we're going to go for the wooden box. Of course we are. Yes, we are. See? Such a cute combo. Adorable couple. Yes, we love that. So we have another space here. I'm just going to pop in a flower, if I'm honest. And then I don't know what I'm going to put in this little area yet. I guess we'll figure it out as we go along. Maybe a mush parasol will look nice. Do I, did I pick one up? Okay, down goes the ranch tea table. Because can you be any more cottage core than the ranch set? No, I dare you to try and show me another set that's more cottage core than the ranch set. I'm also going to add more more fencing because you can't go wrong with more fencing also I'm running out of flowers in my bag so i'm gonna have to pick some more of those up in a sec down with the ranch tea table perfect perfection i'm thinking do i need anything here i'm like nah nah no you don't okay picking up the table again <laughs> I'm going to put some fencing down because I'm indecisive. Do I like it with this fence or do I want to use the same fence? I'm going to use the same fence. I don't I don't like it like that. It looks too blocked off. Okay, that looks much better. Okay, perfect. Let's pop down that table again for like the third time. <laughs> the third time of placing. Push it over. Can we get in here? No, we cannot. Then we might as well push it right up. Let's add a chair. So we have the patchwork chair because it is the most superior chair in all the game. I mean, actually, I probably wouldn't go as far as superior. It's just cute. It reminds me of like grandma core. I'm pretty sure I used it on my grandma core island, actually, to be honest. Pretty much all the patchwork furniture is just cute. Like, it, it's cute. It's adorable. By the way, at this point, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. Right, I'm picking this up so I can pop some codes underneath because it needs it. It needs something. We're going to go for this sort of giant crown like that. And then maybe put a piece under here. I know it doesn't join because of the house, but hey, it looks fine. 
It's it's still gonna look cute. It's underneath. That's the main thing. Why are flowers so pretty in this game? Although I do wish they'd add more flowers. I'd love to see some flowers added. And that's the only flower I can think of at the moment that comes to my mind. But actually, everyone let me know. What flower would you like to have added to, game, to the game? You can pick any flower you like. Any flower. What are you gonna choose? So I was gonna put a leaf pile here. I don't know how well this is gonna look. Just to fill that gap without me having to put flowers down on the side. Oh, actually, it looks kind of nice. I like you, Leaf Pile, there. I like you a lot. Right, we do have some cookies to stick on here. I don't know how well you're going to see this through the tree. We're just going to hope. Oh, you can see them. It's cute. Sylvana's been baking some little coconut cookies. But right, let's pull you out so we can actually put some stuff on this table. I did pick up afternoon tea set. I did. And I also picked up this glass jar because it's full of cookies. Now, it does look like Sylvana probably just sits here and eats all the biscuits, all the cake by herself. I'm thinking maybe we should add another chair so, you know, she can share with a friend rather than eat them all herself. Although there's nothing wrong with eating them all yourself, but you probably make yourself sick. I tried to put this bear on top of this crate, but it went there. And I'm not lying. I'm not even joking, but I kind of think it looks cute. I'm leaving you there, bear. Good, good choice. Good choice. I, I didn't even mean to do it. <laughs> I didn't mean to. So this space definitely needs something. So I think I'm going to put down a swinging bench. I did grab it to see what it would look like. I think it looks kind of cute. I like it. And then I was thinking, I haven't done this yet. We're going to do the cottage cool thing and put a zen cushion with a normal cushion on top like this. Because why not? It looks so cute. <laughs> it looks adorable. Also, I picked up a ducky. I, pick, I picked up a little wooden duck. Where are you, duck? Oh, he's cute, but not that. Maybe we'll put him here. Would you Would you look cute here, little duck? Oh, not face that way, though. Face that way. There we go. I think it looks kind of cute. Now, back over here, I did pick up another chair. I didn't want to use the same chair. So I've gone with the ranch chair. Just so it looks like Sylvana isn't eating all these treats by herself. <laughs> She's, like, pulled out a chair from her house or something to have a friend sit here and eat with her. I'm going to move this duck, okay? This duck just doesn't look right. And I think I'm going to put the bike here instead. Does the bike... Oh, the bike takes up way too much room. No. Does that look better? Oh, it looks like it sticks out too much. I don't really like how that looks. Maybe the ducky will look cute here. The decoy duck. Let's pop him down. Spin it around. Pull it over. Oh, that looks kind of cuter. I like that. I like it a lot. Oh, I picked up a destination signpost. Maybe that would look... Oh, maybe it won't. I think it's going to be in the way too much. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, it won't go forward anymore. It's too much in the way. Maybe we will skip out on that. Do you know what? This bench is actually bothering me. Or is it? Let's try a different bench. <laughs> I'm being indecisive. No. I have picked up two more different benches for us to try. So we're going to like one of them at least. I hope. We have the wild log bench. The wild log bench looks very nice. I do like that. Or we have the iron garden bench. Also very nice. I think, if I'm being honest, I prefer the wild log bench. I think. I think it looks nicer. Maybe move these cushions over a little bit. Kind of cute, I think. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. If I walk past it and it bugs me we will change it <laughs> right so there's sylvana's house looking very cute indeed see i have i'm trying to learn to myself that you know there's a gap here i don't necessarily have to put stuff there like it's okay if i don't but i do need something here so I'm going to try and see what I've got in my storage. See if something will look nice there because I can't help myself. Now I found something that you wouldn't normally consider cute unless you're decorating an animal crossing and that is bread. I don't think anyone's ever looked at bread and gone, oh, bread's cute. Well, guess what? This bread is cute, but it's not so cute because it won't go in here. Oh my gosh. Why you like this bread? Why? Maybe we do this. Maybe that's better. I think. Now I'm deciding whether I want to put some more fencing across this little bit. We're going to try it. Does it does it make it look cute? Oh, it kind of does, doesn't it? It kind of brings the area in a little bit more. I, I kind of like it. There is one more thing we need, though, on this box here. One more thing. Guess in the comments what you think it's going to be before I do it. It begins with G. <laughs> I think I've just made it completely obvious now. Okay, so if you guessed gyroid, then you're correct. And if you didn't guess gyroid... What did you guess? <laughs> 
<laughs> what did you think I was gonna put here? Wait, Garden Gnome begins with G. That's in Animal Crossing. If you put Garden Gnome, you're forgiven. But anyway, yeah, it's a gyroid. <laughs> so we finished this little area for Sylvana. And I'm thinking to myself that this didn't really take very long. So what we might do, what we might do is extra is, oh, do I do Fauna's house? Do, do we do Fauna's house? I feel like she's so far away from the cliff. I feel like I have to move her house. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a pain. Her, her house is too far forward. It definitely is. Although I believe I did that on purpose so that I was forced to decorate the beach for her. So maybe we'll leave Fauna's house out of this. We're going to leave it. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to get ready for the next build. So everyone can be excited for the next build. If you want to be excited, if you get excited. Yeah, we're going to we're going to do that. So let's just go back down here. I think I'm going to quickly just terraform this whole area. So I'm going to bring it out to at least here with a third level. So this is going to take me a little while. I will be back when I have done it because I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch me do that. Unless you'd rather that I did it and just carried on talking over the top because I can very well do that. I could talk forever about anything and everything. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, I could. But yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll do this and I will be back once I have filled in this area that I need to fill in. Okay, so I think I'm back. I think I've done it. I think I've done as much as I can do just for now anyway. So yeah, we'll be coming up the ladder. I'm probably going to carry on the water terraforming. So we have some cute little angled bridge moments going on. That's all I kind of know for now. <laughs> That's kind of what I know. I would like to be able to have like a view area. Maybe we could come over here and maybe there'll be like a sunken house or something like that. Maybe even a little bit further on towards the back. I really want the museum to be sunken in somewhere. So I really want to work on that. But actually, I think for now, for the rest of this video, I think we're just going to plan out this top part. So we're going to plan this out. I do need to get rid of some of these corners. They're a little bit a little bit sharp, a little bit cornered, a little bit cornery corners, <laughs> if that's even a thing. So let's get rid of these. Also along here, I'm probably not going to do too much. I'm probably just going to stick like a tree here just to kind of bring this in. I'm probably not going to bother with putting flowers along there just because it's just, it's just a bit too much, you know, sometimes it, it will take a long time. And also I need to add an incline here. I, I desperately want to add an incline here, but oh, wait a sec. We got to do an incline count. Let's do a bridge and incline count. Okay. So what have we got we got one two three four five bridges so we can have five more we have one two three four inclines so we can have six more of those plenty of inclines plenty of bridges to mess around with so i've got our incline i'm just trying to figure my way back <laughs> I always get lost, even on my own island. Oh, wait, this is not the right way. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. We just took a little bit of a wrong turn. It's okay. Right, hopefully you fit nicely here. Please look nice. Okay, I think that looks nice. We're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> We're gonna make sure it's okay. Oh, do you know what I realized I haven't done? I didn't get the bells out. I need to go get the bells to pay for this thing. <laughs> okay, we paid off Lloyd. We paid for our incline. We don't need to worry about time traveling because it's okay. We're not needing to decorate this area today. But I do want to decide how this top bit's gonna look. So we know the incline is gonna be here. We know there's another sort of incline ladder thing going on here for you to get up onto this level. We now need to figure out what we're doing. So I'm thinking if we start to plan where we want this angled bridge i think that will make life easier well if we just go for it <laughs> like i always say just go for it if it comes out weird you can just change it <laughs> it's okay oh my gosh i'm terrible at these by the way if you want to know how to do an angled bridge or well let me rephrase that. If you want to see how I managed to do angle bridge, by the way, it took me so long to say these words. I probably edited out me mumbling because like three sirens went past. I'm not even joking, three sirens. Anyway, if you want to see how I managed to do an angle bridge, I normally just do this. So I do four squares and then I normally leave like two squares squares I guess here in between and then I put like the same sort of thing going on the other side it, it's two angled lines basically of squares that's the best way to explain it I like to mumble on and then I normally like to take away the middle so I take away the middle like this boing you carry on taking away the middle this is probably gonna be the worst description of anything you've ever seen by the way until you're left with kind of like this shape now I'm gonna take these pieces off here and I'm actually gonna extend it like this just just cause okay just cause and then extend it the same the other side just like this just because otherwise the game just goes bleh 
and just hates you. Right, and then I'll come along and I'll take off these corners. So these little sticky out pieces like this will do that. And then I'll go and do the same the other side. And now in theory, I have messed this up. I realize I have, but that's absolutely fine. We can fix this. Okay, so this demonstration has now turned into do not follow my instructions because they're absolutely rubbish. And I clearly don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I clearly don't know. Anyway, we've got there now. So you want something that kind of looks like this. It kind of looks like some weird sausage blob. It's a sausage blob. So that's what you've got. And then you should be able to just pop in an angled bridge. No, I cannot pop in the angled bridge because we already have an incline being built. So we must wait. We must wait to do that. Let's join this all together. And now we're probably going to annoy myself because I don't carry a vaulting pole with me. I do not. I'm going to probably fill this all in, make this look really, really nice, make it look as natural as possible. And then I'm probably going to scream because I won't be able to get over the other side because I don't have a vaulting pole. It's how it always goes. That's how it works. But it's fine. That is my 10 minutes self in 10 minutes time. It's a problem. Not me. Not me now. <laughs> not me present. But my own self in 10 minutes can complain about how I cannot jump over this river because I don't have a vaulting pole and I've made it too wide. Unless we can jump here. Ah uh ah. -uh. No, I won't be complaining because look. Boing. Boing. Yes. We can jump across there. Here you go. Hidden, hidden little way across. By the way, I will be blocking that off. I will be blocking it off with a bush when I get to it. When we get to decorate in this area, I will be blocking it off. I'm kind of tempted just to time travel, just to uh, be able to build the incline and the bridge because I just want to. I'm just feeling very buildy today. <laughs> I'm in a kind of building mood. I was in a building mood last time I did my last build, so it's nice. It's nice to feel like you want to build in Animal Crossing rather than, you know, just kind of wanting to do it because you just want the island done now, if that makes sense. Right, so we're going to leave this like this for now. Like I said, there's going to be a bridge going across. We'll do like a cute thing. And I'm thinking we should have a little villager live here, right? I don't think I have any more buildings to move except the campsite and the museum. And I kind of know what I want to do with the museum, so that's okay. I mean, it will look nice up here, but I feel like a villager would look better. I don't know what villager I want to live up here. Who have we got? So we have Dottie, who we've already done. Daisy needs a house, but I really would love to give her a big area. I'd like to have a sunken museum area. We've done Sylvana. We did it today. We got Fauna, but she lives down there currently. We could move her. We might do. I might not. So we still need to choose one, two, three, four, five, six new villagers. I need to choose six new villagers. I definitely want Bo. Oh, and B. I want, definitely want B, but I don't know what I'm going to give them as in house-wise. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I think for B, I'm going to give her a coffee shop. Oh, maybe that would look cute up here. Maybe if we can find B. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to plan out where we're going to put this house. We're going to put it nice and close to the edge, but not too close. Actually, yeah, close. <laughs> We want to close. By the way, we're not decorating this area today. Just what I'll let you know. Oh, wait. This is too far forward. No, 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 no. We need to move it this way. <laughs> this is too close. So this is probably a little bit better. I don't know how far I'm going to take the terraforming behind this house yet. Because I haven't decided. Probably a little bit further. I don't know. I might do something a little bit more fancy with it. Haven't decided yet. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't decide. Can't decide because I'll forget. Even if I write it down, I'll forget. I'll forget that I've written it down and not know where to look. I think we're going to just leave it like that. You can be excited for the next build because it'll be someone's house up there. Haven't decided yet. Might even move in a new villager. Might do. Let me know if you think of any cuties, by the way. I already want Bo and B. I already want those two. So give me some more suggestions. But anyway, let's have a look what we did. So we did the lovely bit up there, of course. And we also decorated this lovely little area for Sylvana. And I'm actually really happy with how it came out. I think it's actually kind of cute. Very small build today, but it's all right. Can't always have a big build every day. We do have these small little areas to do as well. But yeah, I'm happy with how this came out. And now, of course, if you enjoyed today's build, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you have the loveliest of days, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.